A lot of people, they struggle financially and they think to themselves, oh, you know what? I cannot become rich because I don't have enough money or I don't have enough capital. I don't have the right idea or I'm not in the right industry or I don't have the right connections. You know what? From my experience, that's not what holds most people back. What holds most people back is this one thing and that is ego. That's right, ego. Now you may be thinking, no, I don't have any ego. What are you talking about? I'm just struggling financially, I don't have money. No, that's not true. You see, ego comes in many disguises. When I was broke, I had many, many of these egos that are holding me back. The blame ego. See, lame people blame people. The blame ego says, well, it's not my fault. It's the government's fault. It's the economy, right? It's the industry. It's my coworkers. It's my parents. Oh, you know what? I come from a dysfunctional family, and that's why I will never become rich. Or all my friends, oh, that's why I will never become rich. Or it because my supervisor, he is holding me back, and that's why I could never become rich. See, the blame ego always says it's someone else's fault. They're always pointing fingers. And remember, when you're pointing finger to someone else, one finger pointing out, guess what? Three fingers pointing back. Do you have this ego? Do you blame other people? Do you make excuses? Then maybe the one that's holding you back. Number two, the know-it-all ego. See, when I was broke, I thought I know it all. I don't need to read books. I know what I'm doing. I was starting all these businesses and guess what? None of them worked because I thought I knew what I was talking about. See, the know-it-all, always thinking they know everything, keep doing the same thing again and again and expect a different result. That's the very definition of insanity. The know-it-all ego. Number three, the fearful ego. You see what holds a lot of people back is fear. Fear of success, fear of failure, fear of making a mistake. Think about it, before you do something, you're saying to yourself, well, what if it doesn't work? Or, or what, if, what if I lose money? And what if, what if I make a mistake? Then what happens? What if I don't know what to do? What if I can't figure this out? Then what if, what if, what if, what if, what if it does work? You see, always remember, fear is an acronym. It stands for false evidence appearing real. It's nothing more than a made up story in your own mind. So do you have the fearful ego holding you back? Number four, the comfort zone ego. It says, I'm comfortable. I'm happy where I am. I'm content. Ah, things are fine. You know, I don't, I don't need to be that ambitious. Well, that's the problem. Your income zone is your comfort zone. Your comfort zone is your income zone. When you get complacent, when you get comfortable, you are not growing. Remember, when you're not growing, you are dying. So do you have this ego that is holding you back right now? And what are you going to do about it? Number five, the judgmental ego. I want you to imagine this. You are walking down the street and suddenly you hear and suddenly you see a red Ferrari just drove by. What's the first thought that comes through your mind? What's the very first thought that comes to your mind? My guess is, chances are, he's an asshole. Who does he think he is? So cocky, so selfish, probably a greedy bastard. Actually, you know what? Probably it's not his money anyway. It's his daddy's money. Or if it's a lady, it's a woman, oh, that's a gold digger, right? All these negativities, guess what? That's you judging other people. My question to you is, how do you know? How do you know? It's all made up stories in your mind, right? And you say, oh, he's not that good. She's not that pretty. He's not that smart. You're judging other people. You're projecting your own insecurities, your own values onto other people. How do you know that man is not a hardworking man? How do you know he's not a good husband? How do you know he's not a family man? How do you know he's someone who's worked 20, 30 years to get to where he is at this point? How do you know? You judge, you come to your own conclusions before even talking to the person. You see how your mind works? How are you gonna be successful? How are you ever gonna become rich if that's the image that you have for people who are successful?